Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm going to be painting a picture from Dream Cities Colouring for Mindfulness. This is a colouring in book by Rosie Goodwin and Alice Chadwick. It's a really, really pretty book. And I'm painting this picture here, which is kind of like a castle tree house that is in the sky. And I really, really like this picture. It kind of made me think of like a fantasy land kind of thing. So I did all different fantasy kind of colours. And the watercolour set that I'm using is the Mikador 36 colour stylus set. It's just a really standard watercolour set. Great, nice, sturdy plastic cover and um, sort of plastic box. So it's really sturdy, good for travel, that sort of thing. But I love the colours in it. The only thing that I don't like about this is it kind of has that weird kind of dustiness to the colours. But I think that's going to happen a lot with pan watercolour because of the fact they have to put some binders in it to make it stay like solid when it's dry. So you always end up with like a slight chalkiness, but it's not bad, like it's quite nice. So I thought I would paint all different fantasy colours using all my favourite colours like the pinks and the purples, the blues and the greens. And I did stick in a bit of yellow and orange a bit here and there, but I wanted to try not to stick to the standard colours that you would use. I wanted to use fun colours. That's what I normally do when I do adult colouring. I'm never trying to replicate what it would look like in real life. More often than not, I'm just using the colours that I feel like. And sometimes I'll even just pull out a random set of colours and just randomly pick colours to colour in with, which is a lot more fun than trying to decide exactly what colour you want in each place. It's fun to just see what something turns out like if you just use randomness. Randomness is always a bit more fun. So I spent a bit of time doing the, um, the castle part and the tree itself and I thought I would move to the clouds. I think they're supposed to be clouds and the water, the water balloon? That's not a water balloon, that's a hot air balloon. So the hot air balloons, um, I wanted to make those look like they were those kind of ornate painted old fashioned hot air balloons. So I used all different colours and did different sort of stripes and things like that. And then just did, did the basket part kind of like a brown colour because that would be, I guess, like cane or wood or something to make the basket. And then for the tree sort of parts, I used sort of all different colours mixed together. So I was using yellows and greens and mixing them together. And I did the flying fish in a lovely orange. And I just sort of used this time to kind of relax. It took me probably about an hour to do this one. I did stop and dry it in the middle and then continued on. A lot of the time you'll find with watercolour the page gets a bit too wet and just using like a hairdryer or even just getting up and letting it kind of sit for like 10 minutes or so to dry off will help a lot in maintaining the stability of the paper. A lot of the time you'll find that the paper will start to break up if you put too much, too much, too much water on it. So if you do sort of take a break every now and again or do what I do sometimes which is work on two artworks at the same time. So if you're working on one you can pop it to the side and then work on the other and by the time you've done a bit on that one you can go back to the first one because it's all dry. But I really really like this. I used a bit of pencil just to add some sort of little details. Sometimes when you do watercolour all your details kind of get washed out I guess. And just using a pencil, a couple of different colours and adding a little bit of detail here and there to some of the edges I think just made it stand out a little bit more. But some of the paper was a little bit too wet to be able to draw on. So I did go back to just using a bit of watercolour just to add a little bit of detail here and there. And then I just did sections of the background. So I would do a bit of water down first just to make the page a little bit damp and then I would splotch on a bit of blue just to give you that sky that's behind everything without it being like a solid blue colour which is actually pretty difficult to do when you're doing watercolour. It's a little bit easier just to kind of dot it around and then let the water kind of make the pigment travel to make it look nice. So in the end this is the finished product. I gave it a good dry off and just touched up any areas where the water ran a little bit and touched up any areas where it looked a little bit chalky because these paints can be a little bit chalky. But here's the finished off part and I'm just adding a little bit more and touching up here and there. And I think it's done. So let me show you this finalized lovely picture. I'll zoom in a bit so that you can see it. But I think it turned out really nice and just for a simple, simple drawing, it was really fun. I hope you guys have a sunshiny day. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.